Live from the Breaking News and Weather Authority, this is WEAU 13 News at 10. Thanks for joining us. In countries like Ukraine that follow the Gregorian calendar, it's still the Christmas season. WEAU's Melanie Walliser shares how some in Chippewa Valley with ties to Ukraine are celebrating the holiday while helping those impacted by war. If you would like to donate to the Chalice of Mercy, we'll have more information on our website. The death toll from tornadoes that tore across the southeast on Thursday has risen to nine. The Office of Children's Mental Health released its annual statewide report this week showing areas of both improvement and decline. One bloomer couple was diagnosed with cancer within months of each other. Today, the community held a fundraiser to help them. Over the summer, Bubba Stolt found out he had metastatic prostate cancer. In October, his wife Rita was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. To help the couple cover medical expenses, the Bloomer community came out to a fundraiser at the Pines Ballroom. The show of support is something the couple says they are grateful for. You know, just those little things that people do for you all the time, bringing food, um, Everything that you see here, it's just overwhelming. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you. We've said it thank tons you. of times, and we'll say it more tons of times. If you are not able to make it to the fundraiser, but would still like to give to the Stolt family, we'll have details on how you can help on our website. Bloomer and McDonald prep basketball teams meet on the hardwood. Philip has highlights coming up on Sports Scene 13. First, how one veteran is using woodworking to teach students some life lessons. An Iraq war veteran is working to teach 10,000 elementary school students how to build bird feeders. As John Lawrenson shares, it's a way to teach them life skills. Cloudy and mild for tomorrow before rain chances kick off the work week. Mike is in next with your full Skywarn 13 forecast. 